Hello everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to join together a pine top using the Daoji kit from Mousecraft which makes perfectly centered dowels easier than ever. So this Daoji kit from Mousecraft includes the joint mate which offers three different sizes of holes including 6, 8 and 10 millimeters. Also included in this kit are three different sizes of draw bits, depth stops and dowel centers along with the supply of dowels and with glue to finish the job. Okay guys, so the first step that we need to take to sort of this project is to determine the size of dowel that we need to use. So I'm using 20 millimeter pine for this top, so I went with the 10 millimeter dowel. Okay, and now that I've determined the size of the dowel, I'm going to start marking out where my holes need to be drawn. So I'm going with a minimum or I would say with a maximum of 50 millimeters from both sides to ensure that there is no bowing on the sides. Okay, and then, so I have two on the sides, a maximum of 50 from the side, and now I'm going one in the center. So I'm using 450 millimeter here, so I'm going 225. Great. And now that I've evenly spaced out my marks, now I can start using my joint mate, flip it upside down, find the correct hole. So I'm using the 10 millimeter down, so I have to use the 10 millimeter hole here. And now I can place it on there and turn it sideways so you can see that's already locked in place. And now that will automatically center itself on this piece of 20 millimeter pine here. That's very cool. Okay guys, so the next step that we need to take is to set the depth on the draw bit using our depth stop that was provided here. So what I'm going to do first is put my depth stop on my draw bit, then put it through my corresponding hole, which is the 10 millimeter one here. And now at the back, I'm going to put my dowel on here and I'm going to ensure that the actual draw bit only goes halfway through my dowel. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm going to clamp that draw bit in place like so. And now on my depth stop here, you'll see that on this side, there's a hole for an Allen key. So now I can take my Allen key and tighten that depth stop. Okay, so now that I've tightened my depth stop on there, you can see that it can't go any further. And I'm just going to double check that it goes halfway through my dowel. Great, so now that we have that, we can start drilling our holes. Now that I've drawn my holes and I've got my dowels inserted here, not glued yet, now the next step is going to be to attach this guide to the back of my joint mate. So we have to loosen the knobs here on the side, knobs on both sides. Now I can take my guide, slide it in. And what this guide is going to do is I'm going to place the dowel in that 10 millimeter hole that I just used to draw the hole with. Okay. And now that I've got it inserted in that hole, now I can go along the side here and you can see that it's not very tight to the piece of wood. And now I can press that guide up against it nice and tight. And once I have that, I can tighten the knobs on the side. Great. So now you can see that this will ensure that I draw center on all my other pieces on my side that I have to draw here. So now that I have that set, that I'm going to draw center, I can remove it. And now what's very great about this joint mate is that it has these slots here in front. And that's actually going to be used to align all my other pieces so that I don't have to measure out all of these pieces. I'm going to use these slots to align it on them. So let me show you how that works. I've drawn my first piece now. Now I can take my second piece of my top here, align it flush at the sides and clamp it together to ensure that it doesn't move. Okay, now that I've clamped them together, it's as simple as taking my joint mate here. I'm going to use that 10 millimeter slot. So now I can slide it in there and now you can all see that on the side there, 
it's going to draw perfectly center of my second piece. Okay, and this is great because now I don't need to measure from side to side. I'm going to use that slot in the center to align them. So this saves a lot of time and it's fairly simple to use. Okay, so I've got it on there and now I can simply Okay, great. And now you can all see the results of that perfectly matched center dowels. Okay, so I've had joint made jig there. All my holes are perfectly centered and perfectly aligned with the first holes that I drilled. Now we can continue to inserting the glue into each of our slots, inserting the dowels, and then finally joining together the top and seeing this finished product. Now I'm placing each plank onto the clamps, getting ready to glue them together. Now I'm carefully filling the holes with glue, inserting the dowels in place, then spreading it along the sides. With the four planks prepped and glued, it's time to bring them together, sandwiching them tightly with the clamps, creating a sturdy and seamless laminate. Now that the glue has dried, I'm going to square the top using my Einhau track saw. And there you have it. A dowel jig is an essential tool for any woodworking enthusiast or professional. It provides accuracy, strength and versatility in creating precise dowel joints. By using a dowel jig, you can elevate the quality and durability of your woodworking projects. Remember, practice makes perfect. So don't be discouraged if it takes a few attempts to master the technique. As always, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Happy woodworking. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more woodworking tips, tutorials and project ideas. Don't forget to leave your comments and questions down below. Stay tuned until next time. Keep crafting.